The S-400 Triumph is a mobile, surface-to-air missile system designed by Russia. It is capable of engaging aircraft, UAVs, cruise missiles, and has a terminal ballistic missile defense capability. It represents the fourth generation of long-range Russian SAMs and the successor to the S-200 and S-300. The S-400's mission set and capabilities are roughly comparable to the U.S. Patriot system. Unlike some Patriot interceptors today, however, the S-400 does not currently employ hit-to-kill ballistic missile defense technology. Russia is however developing a new interceptor, the 77N6, which is believed to employ the hit-to-kill technology. To understand how the entire S-400 system works, we have to understand its components. A typical S-400 system has four components. Those four components are A long-range surveillance radar, a command and control post mounted on a vehicle, an engagement radar and a launch vehicle carrying missiles. Let us discuss these individual components in detail. First we will look at the Long Range Surveillance Radar. It is the most powerful surveillance equipment of the entire S-400 system. The main radar is the 91N6E radar. The 91N6E operates on the S-band. It is an active electronically scanned array radar with 2,700 TR modules. It is an upgraded form of 64N6E. The antenna design is the same as its predecessor but it has a much higher transmission power. This radar has a panoramic detection system and can track up to 300 targets at a time up to ranges of 600 kilometers. 91N6E radar is also well protected against jammers. The highlight of the 91N6E radar is the good grip with the ballistic missile target flying at very high speeds. The presence of the 91N6E radar allows the S-400 Triumph air defense to intercept ballistic missiles at a distance of 60 kilometers. The next item is the command and control post. S-400 system has mobile S-5K6E command and control post mounted on Euro 532301 Tuck. All actions starting from detection of the target to firing missiles from the launchers will be controlled from here. The third item is the engagement radar. 92N6E is the main fire control radar of the S-400 system. It is a multifunctional radar with a range of 400 kilometers. There are two optional engagement radars. The first one is 96L6E which is an all-altitude detector. The second one is 40V6MR. This radar is used to detect low-flying targets which are using terrain masking to hide from radar. The final main item are the missiles. The missiles are carried in a launch vehicle. The launch vehicle is generally a trailer containing the 5P85TE2 launchers. The launcher system is equipped with four silos in which missiles are kept. There are four different types of missiles in the system. 9M96E is a highly agile short to medium range missile. There are two versions of this missile types. 9M96E which has a range of 40 kilometers and a 9M96E2 which has a range of 120 kilometers. Missiles with active radar guidance known as the 9M96 and 9M96DM are intended for use against tactical aircraft, PGMs and ballistic missile warheads. This missile is primarily for self-defense of the S-400 units and any high-value targets close to it. 
9M96E2 medium range missile with a range of 120 kilometers. 48N6 long range missile with a range of 250 kilometers. 40N6E very long range missile with a range of 400 kilometers. Each regiment will have two batteries. Each battery will have four launchers. Each regiment will be equipped with 200 missiles of different types. Thus each launcher will have 25 missiles out of which up to 4 long-range or 12 short-range missiles will be in ready-to-fire mode. Other missiles will be stored in loader systems. The 5P85TE2 transporter erector launchers can carry up to 4 canisters. Each canister can have up to 3 9M96E short-range missiles in triple stack conditions. Larger missiles will have a canister of their own. Each canister works on gas ejection systems which ejects the missiles up to 30 meters in the air after, which the rocket motor of the missile starts. Thus each regiment will have 8 launchers. Now let's look at how all these components work together to intercept a target. At first the long-range surveillance radar picks up targets. It then passes the information to the command and control station. The command and control center decides whether the target is friendly or hostile. It also decides or receives orders from higher command theater to engage the target or not. Once permission to engage is obtained, the command and control center then instructs the launchers to launch the suitable missile. Once the missiles are launched, these are guided to the target using the engagement radar. The engagement radar and surveillance radar constantly interact with each other to determine the trajectory of the missiles based on the real-time location of the target. A single S-400 system has multiple launchers which can be placed at different locations. The command and control post can choose the launcher located in the most suitable location. At a time the system can track up to 300 targets, engage 80 targets at once and can guide up to 160 missiles simultaneously. Normally two missiles will be fired to hit a single target. With its various types of missiles, the S-400 system can shoot down a large variety of targets such as small UAVs, fighters, helicopters, bombs, small AGMs, cruise missiles, stealth fighters, and even ballistic missiles. Once deployed, the S-400 system creates a nearly impenetrable multi-layer dome of air defense.